<laughs> don't care how it tastes, lad. Just give us your beer, lad. <laughs> like, no, no, you've got to That's taste quite... the peatiness and the gritness. <laughs> Ellie McCoy's mate, obviously, he was part of the enemy, mate. Absolutely shocking, death, really. And it's a good story. I can't believe it. Oh, I was going to say, that's isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> when his team's still on the pitch. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to DR Sports. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the Champions League coverage we've been bringing to you so far this season. Look who I'm with, a proper legend. I know I was with Joe Cole last time. <laughs> you were Joe? Yeah, I was with Joe Cole oh, last time. Oh, boy. Today we've got Andy McCoist. <laughs> what a legend. How are you getting on? I'm very well. Good All day. the better for seeing you, my Good friend. Good to see you. Thanks for coming um, to say hello. Scotland captain, Rangers best ever player. Uh, Rangers manager, FIFA commentator, question of sport captain, that's where I saw you oh, for the first time, are. I think. And of course, most importantly, the face of farm foods. <laughs> <laughs> Ali McCoy, it's great to have you on DR Sports. What an introduction. Um, I know you're absolutely foods. loving the European trips oh, with wow. TNT. I know you all say all the time it's the second best job in the world. Is, Tell me about it. How much are you loving these, these away oh, days, but without actually playing? I, that's why it's the second best job in the world. That's why it's the second best. Correct. Without doubt, I, I, people ask you the question, what's it like, you know, playing's the best. Oh. It really is. I don't care what anybody says. Your, your playing, playing career, a bigger pun, you got to enjoy it and you do enjoy it. Everything else, I wouldn't say falls into insignificance because that's not the case <laughs> at all. But you never, I don't think you ever reach that again. However, next best thing by mile. It really is. I mean, we pinch ourselves. We're just sitting last week in a part of the plans, PSG Newcastle, you know, and you're, you're looking about right on the halfway line. Great seats, great game, great players, great atmosphere. Yeah, very, very lucky. Very lucky. Um, who's your favourite co-commentator to work with? God, I mean, honestly, God, you probably do know, but these guys are geniuses. I mean, they all the are. The prep and oh, everything. Oh, yeah. man. The prep they do, the, the work they do, they're on top of it all the time. I've worked with you know, some brilliant ones. I mean, they're, they're all absolutely fantastic. I worked with, obviously, Darren at TNT, excellent. John Champion, Clive Tills. I worked with hundreds of, hundreds of them. Peter Jury's great. He's obviously got a gig at Sky now. Mm. I mean, they're all, I think they're all really, really talented. And I think the beauty of it, of them all, that. They've all, they're all different. They've all got their own wee kind of unique, you know, bits and pieces that make them, make them, make them different, you know. But no, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm swerving your first question. You're going to sit on the fence. I, 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 I don't mind already. telling you, I'm swerving <laughs> it immediately because they are, they are all different yeah, classes. And most importantly, hopefully, I've got to work with them again. Exactly. So that, don't want to slag them off, no. yeah, you can't do that. Um, Christmas time coming up, as you can see around London right now, the city's looking beautiful. Who is the last to leave the Christmas TNT party and persuade me that it's not you as well? Um, well, you're asking a man that hasn't been to one yet, but I'm going to my first one. Oh, first, first one, right? one? Yeah, first one. Savage and Ferdinand. Yeah? I, I mean... I didn't have Savage down as the well, last one. Well, Ferdinand's a dark horse. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he is a can dark put him away. Uh, he can... <laughs> I've got, I'm always, we're going to have a conversation, you, just, you and I earlier, about whiskey. Rio likes a wee nut as well now. Yeah. Which is great because my mate's got a... Uh, my mate's actually got own, own distillery up in Scotland. Yeah. And I'm going to give him an unshamedly give him a plug for it. They've just won for the second year running the best blended whiskey in the country, right? And a, and a, and a, a blind taste, right? So this is rare whiskey. And I've got, I've got a Ferdinand, I've got a real bottle, right? And uh, he likes a wee nut, so fair play to him. And I think he would surprise one or two people at the Christmas party. That's all I'm prepared to say at this stage. <laughs> but I think he would surprise one or two people. Love to see it. Right, we're going to play a quick game of guess the co-commentator. Right. I've been told that I'm okay at impressions. Right. You'll be the judge of it. Um, so we'll go, we'll go with four quick ones and, and you guess who they are. Mm. First one. Ellie McCoy's mate, obviously he was part of the enemy mate. And um, you know, is I'm it, enjoying his co-coms mate, but not for me, not his team choice mate. Awful mate. <laughs> I think the clue was definitely in the vocabulary. Mate was said a lot, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a stab at Big Ange. You got it, straight away. <laughs> Ali's on fire. We're off and running. Second one, it might be a bit more familiar to you. The cross comes in. Absolutely shocking, Daphne. <laughs> and it's a ghost, do you? I can't believe it. Oh. That's not bad. Big, Who's that? <laughs> I hope I'm right. I haven't given you the big build up. 
Big jockey, isn't it? Big yeah, jockey, Hansen. Best, maybe the best Liverpool defender of all time. Him and Virgil at the back. Oh, what a, a dream that would have been. Fantastic player. Oh, what Wasn't a guy. It? Oh, I'll I mean, before good, my time, but I've seen all the videos. Oh, I'll tell you how Rolls Royce. Oh, big the jockey. original Rolls yeah. Royce as well, Correct. not the, the the silly ones you get today. Um, yeah, I mean, next stop. Um, you know, I'm quite good at throwing apples in the bin, of course. I played with Big Emil Heskey. Great guy. Um, it's not bad, I've got yeah, it. It I mean, took me a while, but great, got really, of course, yeah. Ali. But. Could this fella <laughs> score a goal or two? A few. Won a Ballon d'Or at 21. Michael Owen. There you go. And the last one. Hey, you're obviously, yeah, he you, you fancies you sail at this, don't you? You're obviously not That's bad. what the comments that's, say, mate. I was going to say, this isn't the first time you've done this. This is not the first time thing. you've done this. That's all I've got there. Huh? <laughs> uh, next one, the last one. Oh, it's late. I don't like that, Ali. That's not right, that. That's late, that. Oh, it, it is. Not bad. Have you got a four out of four? I get four out of four. four. Um, this one's a good one. 21 goals for Rangers in Europe, 355 in total. I want your quick favourite away day story from your time playing in European competition. What's what's a little little oh. story you could give us? We played Alania Vlade Kavkash. Sorry? Exactly. We right. played Alania Vlade Kavkash, right. who the year before, Liverpool played, okay. right? Um, and I think Liverpool knocked them out in away goals, right? Good team, Russian champions. We played them and we were warm before we went. Uh, the hotel wasn't really up to scratch. Right. So, we <laughs> Gerante, I remember when at we Gerante's house, we went to we Gerante's house and his mum <laughs> packed us a couple of sleeping bags and a pillow as well. For the so, hotel? Uh, and by the way, we needed them. Hotel was, well, not the best. Right? <laughs> to say the least. I'm going to tell you right now, if you've got the Bellagio up there, yeah. this place was somewhere Gutter. a lot lower. right? So went in and it was, I mean, it, it was just horrible. So I remember the best piece of advice, we and me and Gerant had a couple of these sleeping bags and a couple of pillows. Night before the game, got a kip. Game kicks off. We were, I think we were three nothing up after about eight minutes, I'd, I'd scored a hat trick in some like, in some like eighteen minutes or something, right? Not bad, is against it? the Russian up. Russian champions. Anyway, game two and throwed. We we'll we'll won the first game three one. We ended up winning the game. I think it was seven two, right? It's a great story, this seven two. <laughs> and I I'd been taken off, right? At six or whatever it was, I taken off at six. And we scored the seventh goal. This is true. We scored the seventh goal in Vladi Kavkaz. Still about eight minutes or something to go, five, six, seven, eight minutes to go. And the Vladi Kavkaz manager got up out of the dugout, walked over to our dugout, shook hands with Walter, shook hands with Archie, <laughs> and walked to the stadium. <laughs> when his team's still <laughs> on the pitch, playing. getting done 7 2. Oh, brilliant. How long did he last? I, I think that was it. If I was the captain, I'd be like, what? There's no way to leave I think that team. was it, having said that, to be fair. If I was the manager, I'd have probably walked through that after that performance. I would have gone after 3 0 after. <laughs> when he'd scored a hat trick, that's enough for me. Um, speaking of hat tricks, and of course, TNT being the exclusive rights holders to the European football, let's assume, prime alley, mm -hmm. lethal from three yards out, as yep. you know. Let's say you get all the way to the final of a Champions League in a make, make believe situation. Who scores more in the Champions League? Let's say you get all to the final. Ali McCoy or Haaland? Haaland. That's quick. Uh, no, I don't know, I, back I, yourself. I, I, yeah, no, I, I don't get it wrong. I'm not, I'm not slowing back myself. But, but he gets 11, you get 10. He's a different level yeah. at the moment. I've got Jesus. McCoy. Yeah, yeah, I like go McCoy. Uh, Hoyland, who does like a European goal yet to score in the in the Prem, though. He's already got five, I think. Uh, but it's the Champions League, isn't it? Yeah. I'm saying, me. Yeah. I'm going to, I, I'm, I, 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 I was very nearly shy there for a minute. Nah, back yourself. Alexander Isaac. Me. Yeah. So that's, apart from, Har there's Harland, yeah. Yeah. McCoy, <laughs> and then all these little scraps. Unashamedly <laughs> trumpet blowing there from McCoy. Well, he just told us about an 18 minute hat trick in the Champions League, so it has to be him. Favourites to win the Champions League and the Europa League. My team, Liverpool in there, your team, Rangers yeah. in there. I I think you've mentioned the two favourites, and I don't mean Rangers, sadly. I think Man City favourites. To win the double? Yeah. Two uh, in a row? Just. just, I, just. No, I, see, the thing is, we, we, we spoke about it before we came on. Liverpool, I'm liking Liverpool, and I'm liking the fact that nobody's really 
you know what I mean? Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp will be delighted that Aston Villa are taking and Spurs are taking a lot of the, the chat, headlines, the headlines yeah. away. And City, I don't care what MD says, City, I still don't think, I said at the start of the season, you get rid of top players like Mares and Gundogan, yes, they've got still great players, but I'm not necessarily sure they're just as strong as they were last year. Liverpool definitely needed to sort out the midfield. Pardon me, they've done that. Arsenal, Aston Villa going great. I st I, in answer to the question, I think L Liverpool be favourites. In Dublin? You. Yeah, I mean, you, you couldn't make that up, could you? I mean, you actually... Love what, a few Guinness there. What about, Man, what about Man United qualifying for the Europa League and then... Well, we'll see, won't we? Big game for them this final, week. That'd be a good final, wouldn't it? That'd be a good final. That'd be a good final. It would, but I don't know if I could take that. No, you know, that's, I probably, that's... I don't think... So you're going could... City and Liverpool I'm to win? I'm going City and Liverpool. I'm Rangers, going... how far will they get? Uh, we've got a tough game. Betis, who... Very tough game, uh, Well, Betis had a draw with Real Madrid at the weekend. They did. I think Bellingham scored again. He did. Um, we'll definitely get confidence league football, no matter what happens. And as a trainer thought from my sons, who reckon we could win the Conference League. I'm not so sure. I would rather we stayed in the Europa. So, oh, but look, we'll, listen, as long as we get get through and do all right. Okay. Quick fire to finish us off. Robinsons or Vimto? Robinsons. It's got to say that. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so, I'll probably give I've you I've looked up all your old adverts, I'm, Sally. I can't <laughs> lie to you. I've done my research. <laughs> Some crackers in there. Uh, Rodri or McTominay? McTominay all day. Big Tom. But yeah. Rodri, he threw the toys at the pram when we beat him at Hamden. He did. Oh, he said it's not football. It's not football. Get out of here. Out of here, Rodri. McTominay all day. Uh, question of sport or League of Their Own? Oh, I like League of Their Own. However, however. It's yeah, got to be, hasn't that it? has got QoS. This is more of a, a personal one for me. Gerard or Lampard? Oh, that's a brilliant question. No, it's just two names, not three. I know, because they normally throw schools into the equation know. as well. Think Gerard about this one, Al, because you're going to either make or break my day here. I know. How about me breaking your day and just going for Lampard just to annoy you? It's done. I've you won the you. league with Rangers. Come on, Al. <laughs> I know, that's true. That's, that's very true. Oh, yeah, yeah I, uh, I, I, just, I was just hell bent annoying you there. Gerard for stopping 10. Fair enough, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, Champions, uh, sorry, Farm Foods or Tesco is the last one. <laughs> You've obviously done your homework. Farm Done foods, that, all day course. long. The last one as well. I want your very quick, emphatic Champions League team winning speech. Let's just pretend you're again manager of Rangers. You're going into a massive European final. What are you telling them to go out and win that? Well, clearly this managerial chart is going to be hypothetical. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, no, no, don't rule it out. out. I'm, I'm, well, I'm ruling Rangers at the Champions League. Okay, Europa League. Let's, let's go well, for I'll a final. You right now. You're in the change right. room. The last final that we were in, the Europa League final mm. in Seville a couple of years ago, Rangers absolutely, genuinely were fantastic. I am telling you as players right now, what those boys achieved was as good as any, any Scottish teams achieved in a long, long time. Up there up there with the greats. Celtic were the first team to win the European Cup in 1960, British team to win it in 67, and they were a phenomenal side and a fantastic achievement. However, that Rangers team that beat Dortmund, beat Leipzig, and beat all these teams, run. it was an incredible moment. I'm not for a minute going to say it was better. I'm not going to say that, but what I will say, lads, it was fantastic. However, this time, going to just go and win it. Can't get it. How's that? Yeah, well, that's going to fire <laughs> me up. Don't worry about that. And don't forget, the only place to watch European competitions is, of course, TNT Sports. Ali McCoy. Great to see you. What an absolute pleasure. Lovely to Strong see you. handshake. Almost <laughs> broke my, uh, my hand there. Let's go and get a Guinness, shall we? <laughs>